Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We're at the beautiful Desert Springs Golf Club here in Spain. We're on the chipping area. In my hands, I've got the Ping Gorge Tour wedges. So these are the better player Ping wedges. I've got a 56, a 60 and a 52 as well. Give these clubs a hit. Let's test this practice area. Let's test these Ping clubs. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, Ping, Gorge, Tor Wedges, we're at beautiful Desert Springs, the most gorgeous chipping air I could spend all day on here, and we've got some blue stuff with the sun in the sky as well, fantastic. So look, we're gonna try the Ping, Gorge, Tor Wedges. So first impressions of these wedges, when I put them down, uh, I've got the 56, 60 and a 52 here, very, very classic shapes almost what people would call kind of bladey in appearance. Even if you look at the back, there is a little bit of the Ping classic kind of hollowed out cavity. Next to no offset, just really, really good classic shapes. In the kind of gum metal -y, dull gray finish that they come out in, I really, really like. Um, we've got kind of milled faces and sharp grooves, all this kind of stuff that Ping are talking about, which most companies really talk about. They make the grooves, they push their grooves as close to the tolerance as all the companies do, and they make the face as grippy as possible by milling it between the grooves. Um, we're just gonna have a look at the shapes and the feel as we hit these, uh, these three clubs. Um, let's start with the 56. I'm just off the green here. I'm just going to chip one to this sort of flag in front of me. Now, the other thing that's interesting with these clubs is they've got no bounce anywhere written on that I can see. Um, you've also got, I've got WS. This is a 56 WS. That's wide sole. So also comes in a fin sole and a standard sole. In the 60, I've got the TS. So thinner sole design, more beveled back at the back. And then... In the 52 here, I've got the standard sole. Um, so I've got the SS, the TS, and the WS. Now you can get these in different bounces and different lofts, but you can also play with the sole design, which I think is a really clever idea. So you can get thicker sole, which may be from a 56 good out the bunker, thinner soles on some of the other clubs, maybe better for interacting with the turf a little bit more, but whatever your preference and watch other videos I've done on bounce and soles if you want to learn more about that. Um, you can choose the sole plus the bounce plus the loft to match your game. So we're going to go wide sole on the 56 to start us off. Just going to this flag out in front of us, a little chip from off the green. So putting it down by the ball, it does look really nice, round little shape. Like I say, next to no offset, it's a real good player's feeling or looking wedge. Let's give it a little chip. I mean, that does feel nice. Now, I don't think these are forged. I've not actually looked, but it doesn't say forged anywhere on them, which makes me think they're not. But I mean, that feels and sounds as soft as anything I've hit before. Caught the ground slightly further on that one, but that's still gone through quite close. Do one more with the 56. Like, what I do like about these clubs, even though they are that more bladed, appearance i like this little cavity back now anyone who watches my videos i'm using quite big and bulky irons at the moment so sometimes i feel a little bit like i step right down to a blade in my 52 from my pitching wedge um that there's a big contrast in feel now this one does feel a fraction more solid uh almost beefy and i know that's not really the kind of word you want to use when it comes to wedges it's all about touch but it feels to me like it will match into my set a little bit more and if you think about the kind of sets ping are producing i can see how they get to this wedge it will match in with that cavity backed iron a little bit more maybe than just going straight bladed iron let's give one more with a 56. you oh, nip that lovely go on in you go Oh, that was close. So look, that feels really nice. We're just going to drop down then to the 52 and we're going to try on the 52. I've got the standard sole and we've got a pin down at the bottom here, which I'm just going to try and hit kind of a, more of a big pitch, uh, big chip to kind of pitch to. Same thing with the 52, lovely little shape. Now I'm over here in Spain filming some videos at this wonderful venue um, because of the weight restrictions with certain orange airlines which are infuriating um, I've actually not brought my normal Mizuno T4 wedges I've swapped them out to try these gorge wedges and I've played a little bit with them and 
I'm enjoying them. I, I, I'm feeling that they might actually stay in the bag. So anyone else watching the videos, the on-course vlogs that we're doing, you might see a different wedge in my bag. It's this one, mainly because of the weight uh, restrictions. I couldn't get both sets of wedges on the plane. Um, but I'm actually quite enjoying it. I do feel that this one does match into my set a little bit better. So let's have a go with the 56. Lovely shape, very rounded. Let's throw one down there. lovely grab i mean these greens are really receptive out here and that really checks up down by the hole um, which i do like let's give that another go here with a 52. i'll nip that one as well so it's just rolling off a slope that could come up really close that one not too bad at all give it one more do like the shape the feel is as good as anything out there so soft, as I said in other videos, is often to do more with the sound, and the sound of these does make you feel like you've got a nice soft face. I mean, these are sharp looking fresh grooves. They always look better, don't they, Dan? When the sun hits them down there, they look really sharp. That's nice as well. Go and roll out. So that's the 52. Again, feels good. We're just gonna have one go with the 60. Let's try a few lob ups in the air here. So here's the 60 in the fin sole. So we're going to have a go back to this first pin, fin salt with the 60. Let's give it a go. It's uh, looking good. Again, similar, exactly the same shape, nice and round, no offset, as I've said. It does. I'll do the fin sole, uh, just opening that face up, just with this bevel out the back, does let it sit nicely on the floor. I would always be going fin sole more in the 60. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I do feel I could really get some feel going with these. So that's the Gorge wedges from Ping, guys. Obviously, Ping's not the first company everyone thinks about. That's a nice one. When they think about wedges, uh, for me, that club there and all of them in that set, I've been using them in the bag for the course videos. They might be staying. I do like the, the crossover in the kind of beefier feeling with that slight cavity from my cavity back clubs. I love the colour. I love the shape, I do like the feel. They feel as soft as anything. And the grooves are pretty responsive, getting some good stop, but we are playing on some fantastic greens. Let me know what you think, guys. Have you tried these? Is this one club you would think of getting? That is the Gorge Ping Tour Wedges. Post the comments down below, and we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.